Welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. David is planting a crepe myrtle tree. I dug the hole. I don't know if David dug more of the hole. Actually, I had to put some dirt back in. Yeah, That's and then um, he took the plant out of the box, put it in there, put pot out of the pot, out of the pot. But, and we got cow manure, which is called black cow, K-O-W. And um, putting it around it to give it some good nutrients. Then he's going to put some red, red mold on top to keep the moisture in. Because you have to water it at least every week. The most important thing is when you plant. For the first year when for it's plant, a baby. Plant a new plant is make sure you give it enough space so that way it can grow. It can take root before any weeds get near it. Okay, Stand. now the crepe myrtles I got off of Amazon. I got four of them and had them delivered here because it, so they're very, very young. They're very young and they'll grow big. So like that, those are crepe myrtles over there. So these trees are going to get huge. So, and that's pretty red mulch. And I'll show you the next hole before we get into it. And then after this, I'm going to water them. But I wanted to share with you that David is given the love. The mulch will help keep moisture in for the plants and keep weeds you out. You want to see, you want to see mulching shown the bed in front of the house. Yeah. That'll show you some crazy mulching. So the... It, it keeps the moisture in, so these young trees are very young, and we want to make sure they have every chance to take root. And according to what I read about crepe myrtles, the first year is critical for crepe myrtles. And they need to be watered every week. I'm sure that's not much. You need a little more over here, more over there. Yes. It's a lot better now. All right. We want to give these trees every opportunity to grow. Let's see. Yeah, I think for the next one right over there. I dug a hole over here. Oh. Oh, did you... oh. I started digging a hole over here, so we have a I bit of that. shade over here. And this was the hole first. We're going to go with David step by step. This is a nice area for a tree to grow. And when I mow the grass, it'll br this tree will bring shade. Okay, so I'm going to show you step by step. I dug the hole. Which kind of gave it a head start. And all four of these crepe myrtles are the same type of crepe myrtle. And there's the next plant. There's ants in that hole. Yep. I think I overdid the hole. Too deep. Just be grateful to saying a tomato plant. This is a tomato plant, you couldn't put it here. Because ants love the uh, the juice out of a tomato plant. I'll have to put some poison by there. It makes it makes great it makes great uh, ant, adhe ant adhesive for building colonies. 
So you can't put uh, tomato plants near ants. So I overdid the hole, huh? This one probably. The other one I only needed to do half do a hole and half a shovel load. Let's see after root bulge. No, it's still too. After much. I water these it's two plants, I'll put some food ant poison there. Right here. Yeah, I'll get it. That's where the colony's at. In case you're wondering, it's right here. Yeah, I'll take care of that. It's a after. new one. I'll walk the grounds and get all the. I don't don't feel bad. You probably didn't notice this because this is a new one. Because these are all workers. Yeah, drones. No, they're all workers. See, they're there, there, and there. They're all mostly right here. That's where they're building their colony at. Well, I'm gonna put some poison That's down. That's why you the probably hole. didn't notice it. Because it's a new one. Hey, there's always millions of ants. I know too much. And what you didn't you're not gonna see is when after he's done that, I'm gonna go get the watering and start watering the plants. I'm gonna put some ant bed poison on there and walk the grounds and get all the holes. That's not too deep. No, because it's just like that much. The okay, crown, the black ground level is just like that it. much higher. Oh, you. You're next. Stay. Stay. That's another reason I, I use. That's another reason I use red mulch. Is ants don't like to use it in their colonies. Good. In case you, you viewers don't know it, I got that this bag of black cow delivered from Amazon. So that way we didn't have to go to Lowe's and get it. It's yeah, just but delivered right to the get, house. But you can get you it can at get Lowe's and Home Depot. You can get bigger bags than this at your, local, uh, at your local stores. Well, you can get it off of Amazon bigger too, but this, I thought that but that bag should suffice How much what did we're you pay doing. for this bag? I don't remember. Well, make sure before you buy it from Amazon and get it delivered, make sure you price it at your local store because most time I've been finding liquids and stuff like this is actually cheaper locally. Yeah, but I thought it'd be just easier to get it delivered. Cause well, it does save you, it doesn't mean you only have to lift. Uh, it does mean you reduce one lift, basically, really. Yeah, that's what it was for. Well, technically two lifts, lifting it to put it in the thing and lifting it to put it in your vehicle. And I had the crepe myrtles to. delivered too. Do they look like they're healthy? Is that straight up? There. We want the tr tree to grow straight up. Well, that's what the little sticks for. Because for the first uh, two or three years, that's going to. This is what you're going to actually set in place. And then you use that to pull it to keep it straight. And then you have to upgrade it. And then when it's big enough, then you just don't you really use anything to hold it it's straight. It's going to get as big as those trees over there. Those are crepe myrtles. These are just ba these are only babies, you yeah, know. That looks pretty good. These crepe myrtles, they're only babies. They're very get young. Over here. I don't even think they're a year old yet. Mm, they're so tiny. By growth, probably under a year. Yeah, I mean, they're I'd only say babies. About, I'd say about the looks of it, probably maybe maybe half a year. It's only a baby. It's very young. It's only a baby. You want to give it every chance and to thrive. Desperate, and, just, and they're desperately real. They're desperately needing water. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of that. I can see they're starting to get uh, wilted. Starting to, starting to get a little, little uh, wilted. A little too dry. See, while well, you were in there, I was digging holes. Well, after all that work I did on the on the faucet over there, only if I miscalculated. Right, they're just going to plan to it. 
picket install. Yeah. I had to cool off because it's going to get too hot. Yeah. That looks pretty good. That's another reason I put it down a bit because if they grow right, they should push the ground up. Yeah. If, they, if I got them set right, it should push the ground up. Like those trees and over then, there. And then you'll have to mulch it. So I'm actually, I do is actually pre-calculated for the ground push up. So that way, actually, the bulge should be up at ground level if I did this right. Because those three trees right there are crepe myrtles. Yeah, I'm just saying. They're the same breed as these. Okay, and thanks so. <laughs> and as always, the fun never Ooh. ends in Sea Sparkles Corner. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. Oh. Hugs and kisses from my family. Cheers. Thanks for Football watching. Bye, sleeping. everybody. Yeah.